Outdated gear detected. What's up guys, so recently a few people have been asking me about the build I'm using so I decided to make a video about it and today I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm using, all my talents, attributes, my brand sets, specialists, perks and all of that stuff. So let's jump right into it. Before I go into detail about each gear piece, let me just tell you the brand sets I'm using. I'm using two Douglas, two Aerodi, one Fenris and one Wyvern. Taking a look at my mask, I have two firepower attributes and I modified the talent on it to be hard hitting. Now, for this build we're going for full DPS so hard hitting would be good to get that extra damage even if it's only on elites. If I'm not mistaken, damage to elites and crit chance are the only two firepower attributes you can get for your mask. Now moving on to my next piece, we have my chest and this has three firepower attributes Berserk as my first talent. Berserk is important on your chest piece, always make sure it has it. And hard hitting, which is optional. Also, this is a Fenris chest, so it gives me 10% assault rifle damage. Moving on to my next piece, I have my Wyvern holster, which gives me 7% crit damage from the brand. And for my attribute, I have a firepower attribute, which is 21.5% crit damage. And the talent I have on it is just precise, plus 15% headshot damage. If you don't have precise, you can also use the weapon damage talent or the crit damage talent. Now for my knee pads, I have Douglas again. This is my second Douglas, so I'm going to get 10% crit hit damage from the Douglas set. And my attribute gives me 6.5% crit chance. And the talent I have on this is hard hitting, so another 15% damage to elites. Now looking at my gloves, they're the Aerodi set. So I have two of those, so that's my 10% headshot damage and 10% accuracy. And the attribute gives me 10% assault rifle damage and my talent gives me plus 8% crit damage which is really really good. Now looking at my backpack I have an Aerodi backpack and the attributes on it are plus 7% weapon damage and plus 9% crit chance. For the talents uh, the safeguard doesn't really matter your first talent just try to make sure you have hard hitting on it. Extra damage to elites. And that sums up my gear pieces. Now next, I'll be talking about the gear mods I have on them. Okay, so now for the gear mods. These are really important and you want to look for these three main things. Weapon damage, crit damage, or headshot damage. For each gear mod, try to get at least two of those three things I just mentioned in one mod. As you can see in my mods, I have a lot of firepower. I try to get at least 4% damage total bonus whether it's headshot and weapon damage or critical and headshot damage, try to aim for 3.5 to 5% extra bonus on total. Now, I myself don't have the best rolls for my gear mods, but the ones I have are pretty good still. Now, that's gonna be pretty much all you need to know for your gear mods. Just keep in mind what I said earlier with the three, three attributes you should look for in your gear mod. Now looking at my weapons, I'm using a black market AK. This AK is so strong, it is the highest damage assault rifle I have, I have ever found so far in the game. Up to now I have never found a higher one than this even though I found a few more black market AKs. I got lucky to have a pretty high roll. But my talent, the talent I would prefer to have on this if you can modify it, just try to modify the rate of fire. Don't worry about the other talents too much, maybe put ranger on your first one or the one where it increases weapon damage after a kill. But rate of fire is just gonna be really important. As you can see, I have it on my other one, but I don't have it on my main one. The one I have rate of fire on is much lower damage, so I just use my first one, which is higher by almost 2,000. And for my second weapon, I use the Chatterbox, but I only keep it equipped. I never use it in any gunfights. Only use it for the holster perk. 
which is when you kill an enemy and you reload within five seconds after killing them you get a 20 percent rate of fire for like 10 seconds which is really helpful in my low rpm ak however sometimes i'll use the merciless rifle only for the holster perk which is it has a five percent chance um to do an extra 20 percent explosive damage when you're firing with your uh, primary weapon now i'm not sure if anyone uses the merciless rifle as a primary but in my opinion it's a pretty trash gun and for my pistol it's just a normal d50 I need to find a pistol with a uh, good holster talent on it because I accidentally deleted my good holster talent pistol when I was clearing my inventory. Looking at my attachments, I have mainly crit chance attachments because I need to get my crit chance to at least 50% and most of my gear gives me crit damage or headshot damage stuff. So for my sight, I'm just using an EXP, it gives me 12% crit chance but minus 10% headshot damage. For my mag, I'm using the light extended 762 mag. This gives me 30 rounds but minus 5% weapon damage. And for the under I'm using a laser sight, it gives me 10% crit chance but minus 10% stability. And for my muzzle, I don't have anything equipped. Maybe I'll try using the stability one, but I have before and I haven't really noticed that much of a change so that's why I leave it off. And that's gonna do it for my weapon attachments. Now the downside with this build is that you're going to be pretty squishy so for my two skills I use two healing skills. Now the first healing skill is going to be the chem launcher and the second one is going to be the hive reviver. And you can change the hive reviver to a heal drone but in my opinion the heal drone just takes way too long to recharge. Now that's going to do it for my skills. Next up we're going to take a look at my specialists. Now I am using a sharpshooter and there are three main perks I'm using this for. Now one of these three perks is going to be the reload speed bonus. You get a 30% reload speed bonus which helps a lot especially if you don't have that extended mag for your 7.62 gun. Next up is the 30% reduced recoil and 30% increased stability. That one's really helpful. Now for the last perk I think is the most important one too is the headshot damage. You get a 25% headshot damage bonus from this perk alone, which is super helpful with this build. And you're probably wondering why I don't have that top right one unlocked. Well, that's because it only gives you 50% of your armor and it does remove your status effect, but it's just not going to cut it for me. And I'd rather have full armor heals than having my status effect removed when I use an armor kit. Now, Quickly, I'm going to go over my stats. I have 17.2 thousand weapon damage, 50% crit chance, 92% crit hit damage, 102% headshot damage. My range is 31, 1.7 seconds reload time, 40% reload speed bonus, 30% accuracy bonus, and 30% stability bonus. Now for my offense stats, I have 8.5% all weapon damage bonus, 24% assault rifle damage bonus, and the rest besides the damage to elites are not important. So for my damage to elites, I have 92% which is pretty high considering how much I put into my other stats. My defense stats, it's not really that good. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much on my defense. This is really squishy. And same goes for my skills, I got zero skill power. So my skills aren't, or they're all right. Especially the chem launcher. The chem launcher is still super good for healing. But the hill drone doesn't really heal as good as the chem launcher to me. Now that's going to be all for this video. If you found this helpful, useful, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll be making more Division 2 content.